the love of my life standing in front of me. And this just felt like the perfect place to ask you to marry me. Are, are you sure? Easiest decision of my life. <laughs> I would like to dedicate this song to a very special someone in my life. David Rose. Okay. There he is. Right there. That's him. <laughs> Can't miss him. Can let me know if I should pull the fire alarm? Yes. I call you when I need you, my heart's on fire. You come to me, wild and wired. You come to me, and give me everything I need. Give me a lifetime of promises and a world of dreams. Speak the language of love like you know what it means. And it can't be wrong. Take my heart and make it strong, baby. You're simply the best Better than all the rest Better than anyone Anyone I've ever met And I'm stuck on your heart I hang on every word you say I Tear us apart Baby, I'd rather be dead In your eyes I get lost I get washed away just as long as I'm here in your arms, I can be in no better place. You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone I've ever met. Oh, you're the best. Look at you. You are radiant. Hardly. You are, Alexis. Oh, I'd advise against the mortarboard. It'll flatten your hair and pull focus away from that beautiful face. Okay, well, I think everyone has to wear one. Mm, but by not wearing one, you'll stand out. And by the fact that you're a good 10 years older than everyone else. OK. Um, is this straight? Does it look OK? Mm-hmm. I'm so proud of you. I don't know why everybody graduates from high school. No, it isn't easy, especially at your age. Okay, can you please stop saying that? Alexis, you've worked very hard. And now that you've done this, the world is going to open up wide for you. Um, you know, it's not too late if you want to come. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry about me. Mommy's going to be fine, and I'll respect your wishes. I'm just saying, like, if you do want to come. Well, it's a little late now. Whatever. If you have plans, that's totally fine. Now I do. Now I'm doing a big concert with the Jazza Gals, because you're the one who told us you didn't want anyone there. Okay, it totally, it's totally fine. Had I known. It's going to be long and boring anyway, so. Alexis. Alexis, I hope you know that you have been and always will be one of my top priorities. Thanks. Well, well, we'll see each other afterwards. We'll have lots to celebrate then, all of us. <laughs> Sophie Nguyen. Brad Pulaski. Which ones are your parents? Oh, I am. Um, I told them not to come. Alexis Rose. <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. In honor of your achievement, we have an extra special surprise. 
Okay, I think we're good here. Oh, really? She said that. Extra special. I think we should stay. There's something that uh, that I've been meaning to tell you. You can tell us anything. Honey, let's just let them talk. Uh, yeah, so I guess this doesn't really come naturally. Um, David. He seems like a really great partner, honey. Oh, Marcy. In business. Yeah, he is. He's also a great partner outside of business. We're together. David is my boyfriend. And I've never been happier in my life. And so I just, I hope you guys can accept that. You are the only thing in the world that matters to us. And if David makes you happy, then that's all we care about. Dad? I like him. I like him a lot. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I don't understand his clothes, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, you will in time. <laughs> uh, oh man, I didn't know I was gonna tell you guys. Well, we're just glad you finally did. Happy birthday, my sweet boy. What is all this? Sit. Did you close down the whole cafe? More like I politely but forcefully asked everyone to leave. So, the set menu for tonight is mozzarella sticks, four cheese lasagna, and a blueberry cheesecake for dessert. Huh. It's a lot of dairy. All of your cheat day favorites. Also, I may have forgotten about the whole milk situation. Well, I appreciate the gesture, Alexis. So, I feel like there's an elephant in the room and I skipped the class that taught us how to care for large mammals. I don't know how to get it to leave. You can't move back here, Ted. You've just been offered the job of your dreams and there's no turning back now. Just think of all those gross little flies that are still out there for you to discover. Actually, those flies are an invaluable piece of the puzzle in the study of evolution, but yes, we do have our fingers crossed that there are still a few more out there. What about you? What are you gonna do? This might come as a shock to you, Ted, but I can't move to the Galapagos. I wouldn't let you even if you tried. You're building something special here, Alexis, and you deserve to see where it takes you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'd like to think that we helped each other get here. I know that we did. And when you get on that plane tomorrow, I want you to know how grateful I am to have met you. I don't think I'm ever gonna meet another woman who made me feel the way that you do. I'm sure they'll 
be like some other woman somewhere. Can't say that we didn't try. I love you, Ted. I love you too. Well, this is nice. I wouldn't have made you hike all this way if I didn't think it was gonna be worth it. I know you a little better than that. Okay, so how should I set up the picnic? Yeah, I think it might be a little late for that. Why don't we, uh, why don't we just take in the view for a little while and then uh, we'll save the picnic for another day. Okay, I didn't carry you up a mountain not to eat cheese after, so. I don't know, David. Okay, just tell me what to do and I'll set it all up. Okay, fine. Um, in the red bag, there's a blanket. You can take that out and lay it down. Okay. That's nice. Uh, in the second bag, there is a bundle of crackers and cheese. Uh, excuse moi And champagne. Hmm. And, uh, just one more thing. Um, if you go into that front pocket there, there's actually something. So I used to come on this hike a lot when I first moved here, and I was uh, I was developing feelings for this guy I'd just gotten into business with, and I didn't know what to do about it because I didn't know if that guy had the same feelings or if I'd ever be able to muster up the courage to let him know how I felt. <laughs> and now here he is, the love of my life, standing in front of me. <laughs> This just felt like the perfect place to ask you to marry me. <laughs> Are you sure? Easiest decision of my life. <laughs> Are these 24 carat? It's a yes. It's a yes. I love you. I can't believe this is happening. I'm gonna keep this very short because I, I think you already know that I would climb a thousand mountains for you. So I'll just say this. You will always be a part of me. And I'm part of you indefinitely. Boy, don't you know you can't escape me. Cause you know you'll always be my baby And we'll linger on Time can erase a feeling that's strong No way you're never gonna shake me Ooh, darling, cause you'll always be my baby David. Uh, yes? <laughs> I've never liked to smile as much as I like yours. I've never felt as safe as I do when I'm with you. I've never known love like I have when we're together. It's not been an easy road for me, but knowing that you will always be there for me at the end of it makes everything okay. Patrick Brewer, you are my happy ending. <laughs> Patrick, do you take David to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do.
David, do you take Patrick to be your lovely wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and husband. You may kiss each other. Moira! It's 6 a.m., John. I'm moving as fast as I can. Hmm. Well, I guess this is it. You know, after our goodbyes last night, Roland mentioned a going-away gift. I guess he forgot. I, personally, would not have missed this for the whole wide world. Okay. You're only saying that because you haven't gone to bed yet. I'm gonna miss you, Mr. and Mrs. Russ. Thank you, Stevie. That's awfully sweet. Yes, just as sweet as the liqueur wafting off your breath. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I also didn't go to bed last night. You take care of the place, Stevie. And uh, if you get the chance, room seven needs a turn down. Thank you. Well, safe travels, Mr. and Mrs. Rose. David and I can't wait to host you at our place when you come back to visit. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Oh, the uh, couriers are coming for the bulk of the luggage. Yeah, today. This afternoon. Yes. Okay, and make sure the girls are shipped in a temperature, temperature controlled, controlled cargo, cargo container. container. Uh huh. Okay, bye, kids. Bye, son. Bye, I'll see you soon. I'm so proud of you. Okay, so proud. Bye, honey. Bye, Dad. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> love you. Love you. Wait! Stop the car. What is it? Just wanted one last look. Driver, we're ready. Don't let go of my hand now, the darkness has gone. This will be our year. Long time.